What is up everyone? Tom here, chatting to you guys for the first time since my week off um, with a proper focus to the video. I did that video on the drive toaster and also the video, of course, Hackintosh part 5. But this is the first time that I've spoken to you guys since I had my week off. I was going to do the professional sort of... <laughs> professional. I was going to do the, you know, um, what's the angle, kind of sitting like this and the whole chat to the camera type dealio like this where the camera is very still and I'm in front of my desk um, but I kind of figured out that I did that for the announcement that I was going to take the week off so this time I thought I would do this in more of a vlog style chat to you guys a little bit um, about a couple of things that I wanted to say nothing too in depth um, but I didn't want to sit in front of the desk and just rant to the camera again with no real purpose. And this way I can take you around my room and show you a couple of things that I've been working on which is really cool. Now I will say that I do have a vlog in progress. I believe the vlog will be live tomorrow. Like I said, I vlogged the entire week when I had my, when I had my week off when I wasn't making videos. However, the week didn't go to plan. I didn't do as many diverse things as I thought I was going to do. So it's not really that awesome. But I do have some brilliant things. As you guys can probably tell, I'm using my new camera from Christian. It's a little beast and I've been getting used to it. I've had a few ups and downs with it. Um, but that's because, of course... I don't like to, to read the instructions, and because it's not really a conventional camera, I, I did make a couple of mistakes here and there, and I let it record for like an hour or so in my pocket that drained my battery and stuff, so I did a couple of mistakes there, um, but it's all good, and I'm getting really used to it now, and it's a great camera, so that's one thing I want to say. Huge thank you to Christian um, for this camera. It's just absolutely amazing. So here we have my desk, and this is a Wednesday, guys. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to... Uh, turn my light on just like that just for a little bit of extra light maybe maybe do that why not this camera is generally really good in low light but still um here i am at my desk and this is just an average day basically i have the packaging left over from the unboxing of the uh drive toaster i've got some n64 games all over the place because i've been testing a couple of games and also playing my system this n64 permanently stays on my desk by the way guys i know it's a little bit of a mess around here i've got the bike mount box sitting here because i've recently added that to my bike i've attached that to my bike so in the vlog tomorrow you guys will see um some awesome awesome footage of me cycling just back and forth to work nothing amazing but it's still really cool so i've got lots of clips that i've recorded with this camera in the vlog that look great and one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video in the sort of off the cuff kind of um, style that I'm doing it now is because I wanted to use the Sony camera. I want to put out a shorter video before I um, produce the entire vlog just to see if the quality and the audio and stuff is okay when it goes up on YouTube because I do have to do a little bit of work to the audio because there's an interesting thing that goes on with the mic um, with my voice but it's only my voice that triggers it. It does a weird low end sort of distortion thing but the mic on this camera is really good for what it is and the picture quality is insane you can probably see you know all the defects in my face for the first time ever anyway moving along I have a, a pot noodle which is awesome uh, my dad got me this or my mum and my dad I'm not too sure um, they just got it for me and I was like yes nice one I do love a good pot noodle guys over here um, I've got a few things actually this is not mine um, I'm preparing this for someone I'm putting a few things on it and this is also not mine. This is for Christian. I'm sure Christian will reveal what's happening in the future, but nothing amazingly exciting. But yeah, that is all happening. So as you can see, work in progress. This part over here, guys, this is my Hackintosh. This is not a Power Mac G4 anymore. This is my Hackintosh. And it's just left over there from a couple of the benchmarks and stuff I was doing. As you guys can see, I used my test bench setup um, awesomely. So I had the video editing here, right? I was editing the video here. And then I was looking at benchmarks and stuff with the display mounted here, which was killer. Absolutely awesome. Um, these sticky notes, a few people have been commenting on these. I rarely use post-it notes, but one thing I wanted to do for my week was to map things out. Now, I did have four or five more notes than this, but, but I have completed things. I've got a form that I need to do, a boring work tax-related form. 
I've got this USB that I'm preparing for Christie, and all I've got left to do is send it out. I should have ticked both of these, but I'm pretty much aware of what I've got to do. I've still got to do the DVD bloody wedding covers and that, but one thing I did do was I got the DVD out on Wednesday and finally showed them the DVD. They were really, really happy. Just a couple of things they want tweaked, and there is no rush at all, but I would like to do it. I was meant to do it last week, and I was going to do it last week, um, but the covers and stuff, I've got the template ready, all the sizes ready, so I've only got a couple of tweaks to do and then that will be done. Uh, this is related to something to do with this stick for a viewer and then IMNC inbox is a haunting post-it note because I've got so many emails and messages. So anyway, as you guys can see, I achieved a little bit on my week off. Um, now, I was meant to rig up and stuff in the theatre. That didn't really happen. It was... Uh, for a couple of different reasons it didn't happen, so I've got that to come, I've got that to look forward to, but I have got some good footage on the vlog, and the week off really did help. Of course it allowed me to nail Power Hack G4 Part 5, I absolutely nailed it, which was awesome. Um, and I'm saying that because I'm proud of the video. I'm not big-headed and I'm not gloating. I just feel that I have done a good job on the series. It's the best videos that I have done. That's just the way I feel. And you guys have been so supportive. Massive, massive thank you. Um, those videos have gone down a storm. And I do say more in the vlog. And of course, I've replied to loads of comments on part five. Just to, to show how thankful I am. But yeah, just... So awesome. I can't believe how well they've gone down. So everything is just kind of closing up really guys. I'm finishing every bit and bob. The wedding video is one of the last projects that I've got on got to do on here. But I have been repaid to do yet another edit of a video that I've had lurking for a long time now for a client. And uh, I will have to edit that this week and get that out. Once that is done next week, we can start on the videos where we start using the Hackintosh as the main system. You know, where we rejig the setup and the Hackintosh is the, the, the core of the Ultimate Desk setup, if you like. And then that will mean that I have much more freedom to make content around the Hackintosh. One thing that I did do during my week off was tidy my room, but naturally it's all turned to shit again because that is basically what happens um, because I've got way too much stuff and it just gets overloaded really and that's one thing that I need to sort out guys now that the Hackintosh series is done it is about time that I really really got my teeth stuck in to um, clearing out and tidying up and really sorting a few things out so coming out of my room I have got a couple of things that actually live on top of my toolbox um, but I will take you downstairs for now because my soldering iron is downstairs because I soldered up, well my dad did it for me he soldered up a new power button and LED and I left the soldering iron down here so if I grab that I can do a tiny bit of tidying live on camera now I just saw my hand tilt on the camera there guys I will say this oh crap <laughs> apologies if I'm not um, filming in the appropriate places. I've never filmed with a camera like this before and it's so tiny, it's hard to film the correct stuff. So things are gonna be a little shaky for a while. I am much better now than I was when I started the vlog, but it will take me a little while to get used to this camera. But I'm so pleased, it, the, the, even the focusing, just the focusing alone makes this much better than the Fuji film for anything where I'm walking around and changing from place to place. It's just so much better. So here's my little toolbox on top of my subwoofer. That's my home theater system subwoofer. I have got um, this here, which is MS-DOS sealed, which is really cool. I did send that out or package it up ready to send out, but it turns out they were in Ireland, the people that bought it off eBay, and they did not want to pay the extra. Um, all this stuff goes back on top or in my toolbox, and that is a Quicksilver. That is the newest Quicksilver I've acquired. I did not um, rip the power board out of this one. I ripped the power board out of the one upstairs. This is the newest one that I've acquired, the 20 quid one, and there will be videos coming up on this guy um, very soon. And videos coming up on the iMac G3 very soon, but temporarily they'll both be going upstairs to get stored for a little while while I do sort out a few things in my room because I'm limited for space. Every little helps, guys. Every little helps. Um, this is the stuff that I borrowed off my dad to open the Mac Mini. And this is the water bottle that I put on my bike when I cycle. Um, it's just there for easy convenience. 
So this video is almost like a little mini vlog. Um, I was not planning on walking down there and doing that. I just wanted to speak to you guys. But yes, the main purpose is I was overwhelmed by the amazing support that I got when I announced that I wanted to take a week off. Um, absolutely overwhelmed. I was talking to Christian prior to the release of that video a week ago and he was like, oh, you know, I wonder how they're going to react. And I was like, yeah, you know, and um, I, I, I honestly thought I'd get a bit of hate for it. But it turns out that I, I thought that, say, three quarters of my regular viewers were legends, but it turns out all of you are legends and it's absolutely awesome. People just continue to show me um, their support constantly and one thing I really needed was that week off and I managed to get a video out Monday obviously announcing that I was taking the week off and Friday as a bonus video which is the unboxing of this camera and just that little bit of time off really really did help and of course I had so many other things to do and I managed to get loads of stuff done which is great. Now what is my overall plan for the next little while? Well guys the Hackintosh is done and I'm not going to beat around the bush. I am actually quite sad that it's done in a way because this has been my biggest thing of 2015 by a long shot. You know, this has been a lurking thing since Christmas. And it's now done. Done and dusted. But there will be a lot more I can make in terms of content about the Hackintosh. I'm just not too sure what my next big project is going to be. 2015 in general is going to be a massive, massive year for me and I do have important updates to announce very soon um, regarding certain big life events and stuff. It's going to be really cool. Everything, uh, you know, everything is up in the air in my life at the moment, but I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm doing all these crazy different things and it's great. And uh, apart from a few mess ups here and there along the way, I generally seem to do okay. So I'm so pleased with that. And the channel is such a massive, massive thing um, in my life. And it's working so brilliantly that I can't, I, I honestly can't ever imagine stopping. I mean, I know that's, that's a big thing, but it's just the thought of just continuing to make these videos is such a wonderful thought. They're just so fun to make. Don't worry, guys. Don't expect these ranting little almost pointless videos all the time. I do have a, a videos um, safely stored away, ready to upload and stuff and video ideas in my head. I just wanted to chat to you guys after I took my week off because I wanted to, I didn't want to jump straight back into it. I wanted to have a little chat just because of how supportive you were. I really do appreciate it and the support that I had on the Hackintosh part as well. So guys, for today on a Wednesday, that is pretty much it from me. Um, little update video for you guys. The vlog should be live tomorrow, but that's not a promise. It may be Friday's video. I'm not too sure. I'm not even sure how much footage I've got yet, but it will be interesting to see. Um, again, massive thank you for your support. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I truly am, truly am extremely grateful. Lots of great things to come, guys. Lots of exciting things, and hopefully lots of exciting things with a slightly tidier room because this is appalling. I am now going to go take some time to tidy my room, stick this video together ready for you guys to watch it later on and uh, enjoy the rest of my Wednesday. So I hope all you guys are doing great. If anyone needs anything like a reply to their emails, massive apologies. Um, they will be coming soon. They will really be coming soon. I've just been beyond busy, but really loving life, loving life. And you guys are making it all that much better. So huge thank you for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video.